girl shy the beat. Get him back. Mm -hmm. Okay. vegan haul you guys uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the grocery store and yeah so got some bananas organic okay organic some bananas I got some ginger let me show you guys this pineapple so there's another YouTuber, um, I gotta look up her name, but she was saying like, if you can smell the sweetness of the fruit, then that means it's a good one. So this pineapple, I can smell it and it smells bomb. Okay, so pineapple, pineapple, banana, Got some carrots, y'all. Aren't they so cute? Oh, my God, they look beautiful. Yes, organic carrots. I'm big on organic because if you can buy the fruit or vegetable in its natural state, why not? And these were affordable. Half the crap was on sale. I got some, what is this? Oh, red cabbage. I found some dairy-free yogurt, you guys. Like, I've never seen this before. But, yeah. This is a peach, mango, nut-free yogurt alternative made with soy by Silk. So, I'm going to give these a try and see how it goes. I got a coconut. I'm going to do a video of me opening opening this because I, like, I never had a coconut before. You guys... OMG, this brand right here is the bomb, for real. Like, this is just grapefruit. I swear by this. Like, this is the only juices I buy. I got my power greens for salads, my smoothies in the morning. I'll be making red onion. Oh, these are raspberries, y'all. Organic. Collard green. Yes. I cannot wait to make some of those. You guys, I'm so passionate about food. Like, my family will tell you, like, I'm kind of annoying with it almost. But I'm just really passionate about it. I got my sugar. Organic. Non-GMO. Got some mushrooms, y'all. Organic. This brand I've been seeing a lot. Have you guys seen this in your store? Simple Truth. Anywho, they're good. And I got my almond milk. I do not drink um, cow milk because I'm not a calf. <laughs> Even though I'm thick like one, I'm not a cow. Got some grape tomatoes. These are good to like snack on. You know, just when you want something to chew, put a little bit of salt on there. Oh, bomb. Got some strawberries. Yes. They say you are what you eat. <laughs> I must be good. Got some lemons, avocados. I'm going to be taking these out of the plastic before I put them in my refrigerator. I do not like to leave my um, veggies or fruits in the plastic bag. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it smells good. I was gonna say, can you guys smell this? But you can't cause you're in the screen. <laughs> okay. Broccoli. Some parsley, y'all. I got the greens on deck. Basil. Cilantro. Blueberries. Organic. Oh, 
Farida Stokes Purple Sweet Potato. Organic. So I was only supposed to spend 150 at the store. Didn't happen. I was uh, walking around, picking up stuff, picking up stuff, and more stuff. And I spent $195. And I guess it would tax like $200, $202. Totally went overboard, but I guess, you know, it's not that bad, but I was still a little bit upset because I'm like, I can never stay on track. I got some pomegranates. These are not organic, but they are non-GMO. Bang on, look at that. Now, if you're buying fruits and veggies and they don't have organic, make sure you get the fruit wash or vegetable wash and wash them thoroughly. Like, scrub it, I say, at least for like a good 30 seconds. You want to get all the pesticides and stuff off of there. Can you wash off pesticides? I don't know. But that's, I'm just talking. But yeah, if you don't have the option or the funds to buy organic, then when you buy the other brand, the non-organic one, just get a fruit veggie wash and wash it thoroughly, okay? Being a vegetarian, vegan, does not have to be super pricey, you guys. Like, people always talk about, oh, what about the price? What about the price? And I'm like, don't you buy steaks and all that meat and stuff? Like, come on, stop it. Onion? And I got my baby some food too. You know. Happy baby. This is a uh, bananas and strawberries. And this is winter squash. We'll see how he likes that. Right now he's over there munching on a banana through the little net where he's for him. And I put a piece of banana in it. Honey, he's going to town. Oh man. I got a little hole in it. Shoot. I did that. It's okay. This is a um, Dave's Killer Bread. This is the only bread I buy because it's organic, non-GMO, and it's a white bread. So yeah, I do like wheat bread. So I got some French fries, y'all. You already know, <laughs> organic. <laughs> Daya. I'll tell you guys next week how I like it, if I liked it, because all vegan cheese is not good. I had one brand before and it left a nasty taste in my mouth, so I hope this one doesn't do that. Balm.com, they don't need that other candy. This is a natural, organic pop for the kids, okay? Good for them. Stop giving your kids that bad crap. Spinach, I love spinach, especially in my smoothies. Yes. Yeah. This little cheddar block so I can make some mac and cheese. I am. Bye, Daya. You guys. Beyond me. Plant based burger patty. These are the bomb, okay? Like, soy free, gluten free. 20 grams of protein. Um, yeah. 20 grams of protein. <laughs> oh my God. You guys, I bought three of these. I took all of them off the shelf. <laughs> Fruits for my smoothies in the morning with my Body Complete RX. So I got pineapples, raspberries, blueberries, peaches, strawberries, fruit on deck. I don't really know how to cook rice, so um, yeah, I don't do a good job. So I got these pouches, cooks in three to four minutes. Why not? Easier for me, less stress. Some chicken strips. Uh, fishless fillets. I just don't want to have too much of these. Eat in moderation. But they are good, like, when you just want that. You know, when you're missing meat or you want to just have a little different texture in your mouth. These are good for that. Gosh. I've been wanting to try these. 
So I'm going to try it and I'll let you guys know. I'm pretty sure it's good. I can use these in pasta. It's a good alternative for my kids, especially my daughter. She won't even know. I like mommy made spaghetti. Some kale. Look how beautiful that is, you guys. <laughs> Just let's take a moment for the kale, okay? Let's get into it. Okay, so organic Hidden Valley Ranch. Ow! Hey, these food. Hey, y'all. So I'm back with an update because it's Sunday. Yes. So far, so good. Like I said earlier, but I haven't really been doing my workouts like I should. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys because the past week, Mother Nature was here and I'm Okay guys, so I'm here sitting in the living room holding my baby. Really like work out through that crap. But me, I'm one of those females that do not work out while I'm on my cycle. If I don't feel like it, I'm not gonna do it. So, yes, I just wanted to keep you guys updated, coming back on Sunday, okay? Um, yeah, I'm excited, you guys. Like, I see results by the time, let's see, March, April, by the last week was a bit of a, kind of like a chillax week. I still took my supplements and my shakes and stuff, but I really didn't do too much working out, no. Oh, <laughs> make sure you follow me on Instagram at fit underscore babe. Fit underscore babe, okay? That little piece of hair is annoying me. But yeah, fit underscore babe. That's my um, Instagram name. And then I have my other one is the real Nashila. But for like vegan, vegan tips and my posts about my weight loss and stuff will mainly be on fit underscore babe, okay? And um, I'll make a video sometime this week, maybe like Wednesday I'll post it, about fit, okay? Because I want you guys to really understand what fit is. And if you want to join, great. Like, welcome to the family. You know, it's, it's my baby. I'm passionate about fit. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about it. I'm being like real honest and yeah so thank you guys for watching bye